All right, this is the... I love how Results in Barrier looks like, kind of like uh, rejects from a cover of some sort of uh, hair band, hair metal band. Vitos. Vitos need to sign in. Vitos. Vitos. I do, I do love the yell. He's like, Vitos. He's like right there. <laughs> But now, I uh, see Breeze on results may bury along with... Yeah, and we had OBS drop really quick, Andrew. but we're back. My bad. I just noticed that OBS dropped. But we're back. We're back. We're good. We're good. OBS. What does that mean? That's the system that's running the stream. That's all this stuff, and that does all the, the, the stuff. That's OBS. That's the oh. software that runs it all. It's the stuff that does the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go. We're getting started, ladies and gentlemen. Right on time, too. You missed, you missed no action. So, again, if you're just getting back in and tuning in, don't worry. You missed nothing. We're just getting started right now on the second to last match of the night. All right. We got Freddie Mercury B, Jeffrey Dahmer. Oh, Emily Nichols went with the, with, with the real name. Yeah, why not? Just rep, rep who you are. Hell, yes. I love that that queen dancing, dancing dragons happening right there. Indeed, indeed. And it looks like we do have honey bunnies. It looks like they're going with snail strat. They're going with standard strat. Actually, they're going split. They're doing berries and snail. Let's take a moment here to realize that we both stop talking just to watch the game. You do that sometimes. You get so memorized by the uh, the plays that are being made. Looks like the, the, the berries are uh, on gold end, and gold is pushing back the snail. Or at least they were. But uh, I think they're content. No resistance on uh, blue at all. Yeah, they're content with the snail being where it is right now. Pretty much when it gets the tunnel, round tunnel, it's not that much of a danger, and you have time to flood in your berries. But again, a great hive guard going on right now, and again, pretty uh, a pacifist play on both sides. No queens have died yet. No, but they are they are trying to kill each other, ish. I think they're all sizing up each other because I see them like running towards each other and then breaking off it's like a endless game of queen chicken. Right, who's gonna die first? Are you gonna <laughs> dive or am I gonna dive? Because you know whoever does, I'm chasing you. Oh, and there we have our answer. There we go. Results being very. It looks like, a, but again, getting very close on the uh, the berry. Uh, actually, actually, no. Uh, yeah, results being berry has one more berry in. Richard took took, took 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 a took a bite. I see there are two berry runs are coming in, and uh, oh yeah, Vito's made it. Actually, made it into the get the three berries in. Um, so it's three versus three right now. Tied up and snail, not much of a factor. That's not anymore at least. Yeah, but being at that that middle platform, that's pretty much runs at a neutral site. I wonder, is she doing a speed barrier or is she going to get up? Looking at Bree. Oh, uh, she's nope, getting up. Nope, where? I guess her first choice is going to after the snail. Yep, it just has predicted. And once again, guarding that snail, make sure that snail does not make any more movement. At this point, that snail's not in a super... Okay, looks like they're going to be moving it back. May no, maybe not. It looks like Abs is going for Warrior there. He's counting on Vitos to make it in now. Oh, it's it's uh it's Alucard, my my uh, vampire kid playing. Good uh, going on dance dance. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we got only two more berries for Honey Bunnies though, and Honey Bunnies is on last queen right now, so very dangerous. Again, you have the berry lead and the snail lead, but you're on last queen. What do you do? You play conservative as the queen, or you try to push in those last two berries? And again, hive guards on both sides, make sure that no more berries get in. The high low strat. Oh nope. Is, and what gets in? No, just at the last end, nicely done with the Warriors keeping out that Blairy on the blue hive. Look at the control of 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 uh, of uh, Results of Barry with with their with their uh, Barry guarding hover. You see, you see the difference between both both skulls. Are one is kind of having that nice hover, kind of anticipating. The other one is holding the ceiling. And then we got two berries on both sides now. Again, Honey Bunnies is on last queen. So that's a little bit dangerous. The respawn, the berries kick down time before the respawn. Nicely done. Snails at mid now. Still in the tunnel, so again, not a huge, huge threat. 
Again, they both teams have been on last two berries, seems like, for the longest time. Can we not get one more berry in? I love that, that teamwork on, on Rosalind Berry. You have uh, a newbie, uh, Andrew, keeping the, well, what, what's keeping the, the, the queen at bay while, while Valerie was stopping his berries. Ooh, nice dodge from Valerie. See, on the other side, Emily is holding strong, but just sitting there by herself, keeping the berries. And yeah, doing a great job keeping those, and kicking them out. As soon as they're dropping down, making sure they get kicked out so no one else can pick them up. Well, one of the things I missed about, about Emily was her high guarding skills. And both these teams are having amazing hive guards right now. This reason we're stuck at two berries for the longest time. Okay, it looks like we're going snail now again. That's gold. This is an example of why snail become, became like the the way of winning, I guess, in the in the national scene. Because once the hive guards get so powerful, it becomes hard to deal with. And as soon as you said that, now only one more berry for results may berry. Both teams on last queen though. The queens are battling up on top though. That was due to Richard uh, hopping in there and uh, taking the ceiling, allowing um, a berry to run underneath his legs. And there was another one. And they got it. They snuck it in. They snuck the last berry in. Good job, Vitos, with that final berry. Nicely done. The honey bunnies. Oh, I, that's amazing. I, for a second there, I, I saw Alucard doing dance dance in the, in the, in the camera of the gold team. <laughs> and they say vampires yeah. cannot be seen in, you know, through media or something. I can't remember. Through mi two mirrors. Yeah, it's through mirrors. I guess it's not really a mirror then. Yeah, it's not really a mirror, so you should it be counts. able to see them. They got a five-minute match. That was a long match. These these very very these very rich ones will be. And once again, I see that Sam is uh, hard to find. I don't know where Sam is. Can you find Sam in the in the blue side? The uh, blue abs. Where is blue abs? Oh, there he is. He's right between uh, Guido and uh, LMA. I'm loving this. We got uh, Emily with uh, with the stretch. We got uh, some deliberation on both ends. You know, sometimes I wish in these moments there were actually like a way you can like listen to what they're asking. They're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe and I, I, I keep forgetting too, I do have stats here in front of me too that I can look up and mention. Next league day, I'll remember to like bring that up and we'll go through that a little bit too. I'll just start talking about random stuff, you know, like that, that dive from the queen reminded me of like a swan dive off of the high um, diving board. And yeah, it looks like we do have, again, this is definitely a berry map. And again, this is just the second map, because again, that last one was so long, I feel like it should be more than just one map. Oh, wow. That was impressive. I, I, I love that uh, Gold gold Abs did, uh, not Gold Abs, Gold Skulls did a, did a, a juke. He did eventually get killed by, by a drone, but here we go. Richard down, uh, to, uh, just got lost a life in the hive. I'm trying to keep track of everybody. It seems that there's no one stopping the, the blue hive is open. And again, the Three honey bunnies left. are, yeah, they're, they're flooding those berries right now. They're looking clean on those berries. We, we, see, we, have, we have Freddy. Oh, Freddy and okay, one more berry now. Nicely, okay, nice done. Uh, who was that? That was Chex getting the back berry. Plus the closer berry makes it a little bit easier for your berry run. Open hive. Open hive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Take that all day, every day. Nicely done, honey bunnies. That was, we went from a five-minute match to a minute 22 match. <laughs> minute 22. <laughs> I don't know if you can do a berry running much faster than that. <laughs> well, they left the door, left the door wide open. You Indeed, know. it was an open hive most of the match. Yeah. Meet thy neighbors. Yeah, I, I, I believe in honey bunnies. Honey bunnies. Where's my brain? I have. I don't know what's going. <laughs> it's a on. long. It's been a long night. It's. I'm. I'm there too. I'm there too. I did. A, I did. A, I did a switch. I did a switcheroo where I. Uh, Started off very like here in like awake, and now I'm back to just being. And both these teams at two and four right now. So, who is going to take advantage of the standings? Will it be the Honey Bunnies or Results Mayberry? Because once again, they're both at two and four right now. 
Oh, you messed one, up y'all symmetry though. You have an extra win on one side now. I know yeah. it's so it's so pretty. Yeah. I, I, I want to take a picture of it. Let me do that right now. Let's see. I'm gonna look at it one time in like five years when I go through my trash photos. It's like, oh yeah, I remember why I took this. <laughs> there we go. It's for our win one. loss. Now on this one, like I haven't, I'm not so aware of like the skill level, but like because of the top berries, there's gonna be kind of a bit of a, bit of maybe an equalizer, maybe. Top berries are super important on this, just because it makes it so much easier if you get those top berries. Because if you get those. You can attack from either way to mm -hmm. run berries, top or bottom, to get the bottom berries. Whereas if you need the top berries, you have to go from top, which makes it easier to defend. So and top berries early in this map is very important. And since both sides have a very well, 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 um, very good hovering hive guard, I can imagine those top berries are going to basically be like highly. Um, in theory, the opening strat for this match is you get two top berries right away. Yes. In theory, that's what most teams do, is two top berries right away. The the the, uh, the second row, the, the, the side two, left, right, and the far left, far right, are going to be the ones that are going to be fighting for the most, because it's the one that you have to aim for mostly. You can just run off and hit the middle one. Yeah. Um, and with with the hive guard showing their 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 strengths, I'm I'm not sure which one will come out on top on this. Um, yeah, they're equal to berries right now. We got we got the second. And they go two yet. top berries again. Both uh, yeah, both teams two top berries. And as you saw, just ran off, got that middle top berry, and an early queen kill as well. Honey Bunny's losing a queen there. And again, these soccer berries too are so dangerous. Like they always bounce around everywhere. If you're gonna get soccer berry, it's gonna be on this map. Yes. Already there is a uh, hive guard for the blue side. We're and Honey Bunny's on last queen already. Mm -hmm. And there's, 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 they're, they're they're, uh, their hive is wide open. This is the reverse of the night map. Night and dusk, right? Mm -hmm. But again, we got a pretty even match other than the queens right now. Again, the Honey Bunny's queen. It has to stay, uh, needs to be very, very, uh, careful <laughs> not to lose that last life. Looks like Jeff B. Dahmer is, is attempting to do some counter ledge. Actually, no. Oh, and they get the, the convenient falling up for the berry for the honey bunnies. Only need three more to go. But again, two top berries. Yeah, this is, this is what I was talking about, waiting for. Like, see, see how it's at that one berry right there. On the other side, the same berry pretty soon. And I got another kick in berry as well. You, you can't get those top berries from the bottom. You got to go up top. You got to go. Again, that is the advantage of getting those top berries early. And it, it, out, one, one top berry, one top berry on the side. And we got two to go for the blue side. Nice, uh, nice, rec nice recovery. Gets oh, but gets bounced to the other side. Again, that middle divider makes it a little bit more difficult on these berry runnings. Oh, again, Another you can take that kill. risk. You can take. You have the extra egg. I don't blame you for taking that risk. But again, both sides sitting on last egg now, and oh, a one, uh, one more berry on each side now. Who's it gonna be? Will it be the honey bunnies? Or will it be results made berry? Here's the. It's dropping. It's oh, it just <laughs> missed. It just missed. That would have been unfortunate if that landed. The aim, the foul again. Oh, oh. and gets the military anyway. That, that no. risky, that risky rise. Oh my Ooh. god. That was such an intense back and forth from both sides. You had, like, I was silent. I was watching that, and that's what I was saying. Like, we, they have such strong hive guards in each team that it will be down to those two, those two berry like holes, right? And uh, just watching them see who get into it first, and it became down to the queen uh, desperately trying to prevent queen versus queen. And now it comes down to this. It comes down to Twilight. Again, which team feels more confident on Twilight? Will it be the Honey Bunnies? Or will it be Results May Berry? Will Honey Bunnies close it out and end the night with the dub? Or will Results May Berry fight back to even this up? <laughs> well, so far we've been seeing open hives back and forth. So I, I wonder if this one they learned to basically keep their hive guards up. And I'm once again curious to see how, uh, how well these berry runners will do since these are very strong berry running teams. 
Right, and again, we do have strats talking, uh, strats uh, talk back and forth. Again, this is where you need the strats is on this map because who knows how to run this map? No one knows the prime way to run this map yet. It's all an experiment for every team how you do it. By the way, I can't wait for the day we go. We open with with uh, with strat talking and we end with trash talking. <laughs> It gives us a chance to catch our breath to you. All right. Woo. Oh, don't breathe again. Like you I, I know. That's what out. it is. That you went, you went out. Whew. Breathe soft. But that's why we have two monitors. We're fine. We got the two <laughs> monitors. We're good. And again, after this, we're going to be closing the night out with the wannabes and Battle Hive Apis to finish the night off. <laughs> I'm not sure you saw that. I just saw Lincoln's dad's son inch off to the to the far right and just peek around to the gold team's little deliberation there and then look <laughs> look in our direction and kind of like that gave us a Dennis the Menace kind of face. <laughs> I don't know what he learned, but can they use that? He le they <laughs> learned what he learned. <laughs> He's doing it good again. I wish we had like a camera going that way just to <laughs> watch them, just watch them like inch around. <laughs> Hey, Lincoln's dad. Don't do the dog. Put the butter on the dog. The butter dog. And again, the team's... And, a, and again, the team's talking strategy back and forth right now. Again, this is gonna a very important match. Again, mm -hmm. this is going to be for who's going to stay in the, uh, in the standings in third... Uh, in, uh, uh, in third place with Pollen Count, because again, Pollen Count at three and four already. One of these teams gonna go three and four, mm -hmm. one of them's gonna go two and five. Who is it gonna be? Mm -hmm. Is it gonna be Honey Bunnies or will it be Results May Berry? Results May Berry seems to play stronger, but it seems like the Honey Bunnies are much more scrappier. They seem to like pull shit off. And, but like when, I, when I'm watching the games, the middle of the games, I see that the Hive Guards on, on, on Results May Berry are up, the Hive Guards are, are, are set. And then Honey Bunnies are just popping in and out, and popping in and out, and just getting these queen kills. So. All right, results may very ready to go. Honey Bunnies ready to go. Let's do this. Let's go ahead. It is twilight. Let's see who's going to finish this off. Will it be the Honey Bunnies, or will it be the results may vary? There's an opening. They got the win. Oh, nicely done from uh, Blue Queen to go and take out um, both of Warriors trying to get up right there. And again, it looks like we're going to be going berries and Honey great berry running going on right now. Again, no and having berries. the knowledge, knowing you need to go from this top platform to get those berries. You cannot be going from this bottom platform. You can get maybe that corner run, but that's about it. And there, you see right there what's happening? They got almost all their berries in because uh, Blue Queen destroyed the rising warriors. Yeah, yeah. That When the warriors tried to get up at the beginning of the match, that gave them the open hive. And again, Honey Bunnies are playing this like a pro. Is this the only map they practice? Is like this their map? And lo look at that queen again. Is this Honey Bunnies map? Is that what it is? Just the Honey Bunnies run Twilight? Is that what it is? Oh, they're with the team to do it. I'll be them. Oh, I love that assist. You see that? The berries coming down uh, over the screen. And then uh, uh, Skulls is running up and headbutted it out of the hole. One more berry. And they got, oh my goodness. Again. This was just the Honey Bunnies match. That is just their map, apparently. Yes. That um. Beautiful Nicely opening. done by the Honey Bunnies, taking it three-one. And I love how you don't see very many misses with the berries. They're just like jumping. They in, were in again because the berry placement on that map is so hard. And again, it, uh, the trick too, as chat pointed out, is to have a speed berry runner because mm -hmm. making having a speed berry runner makes those berries so much easier. Oh, there they are. Oh, oh yeah, chat's there. I was like, I was like, where is the chat? I was like, <laughs> chat pointed out. I'm like, where is the chat? Ooh, let's go, Honey Bunny from B Y V V Y. I think that's a, that's a vampire face, that teeth right there. B Y V V Y X. Your salty face. I love these names. Little Monster. Little Monster is my buddy. And Alice Sinful. But yeah, that, that that last map, like these last past maps, watching these two teams. Yeah, Alice, that's uh, I believe that's Knight's wife. I know. I was like, yeah, I was like, hello. <laughs> Ratberry speed are super sneaky. Yeah, that's the one thing that like I was when I was when I was um, we were 
practicing with Pollen Count um, on uh, what was it on, on in Denton on on Thursday, and they were practicing that that flood in with uh, with those speed berries, and they were yeah the back speed berry yeah so sneaky and again if you don't play Twilight Match you would never know that's a thing. Oh yes. And the most important part is that when you're, gar you're you're watching one side, and then you're getting, and then so you're facing away from the back door, and these suckers are jumping in, knocking you out of out of sort. So now you're no longer guarding any side because you've just been flung outwards due to, due to a, a speed barrier runner like hitting you from behind. All right, and up next we're gonna have the last match of the night. It is gonna be your number one seed, the Battle Hive Apis, against the Wannabes, which are the bottom of the league right now. So again, we have the top against the bottom. So can the wannabes pull off the upset and take off the top seed, or will Battle Hive continue on their ways? Here it goes. We yeah. have Battle Hive Blue. Oh, do you see? Do you see? I didn't see this, this before, but look, look at look at Merritt's uh, jersey. You see that? Number oh, he 19. actually has a jersey. <laughs> and his battle flag. Wow. Oh, he oh, take it. oh shoot! With the snail, the come and take it battle flag. Eric means business for this last match. He's to make sure to go in and pull it off. Oh God! Hope I got. Hope I got a shot because I, I was too slow. Ah, uh, you can get one later today. Oh, and he had that come take a flag on the back of his shirt too. Hello, Alice Sinful. Type in your name, whatever you want it to be. Oh, right here? Yeah. Um. All right, while we're waiting for them to go ahead and get started again, they're talking strat right now. Let's go ahead and kick it back to us to get a quick minute. Again, thank you, everyone. Oh, I put it on the wrong side. You, but you get it. He's he's on that. Okay. No. See, so here's the thing. So, I'm a vampire, so I'm like reversed. That's what it is. I your no vampire name. powers is what it is. That kind of screwed everything up. See, I thought you were on the other side, but again, optical illusions. <laughs> I get it, you <laughs> vampires. But I had to show off your cosplay before you ended the night. <laughs> But again, thank you everyone for tuning in. Again, this is our last match of the night before we go in and call it. It's been amazing matches so far. We've seen intense back and forth. We've seen comebacks. We've seen it all. There you go. <laughs> You're just vampire. You're just vampire. <laughs> and that's, that's my name over here. My name. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and kick it back. To, okay, it looks like everyone's still getting signed in, but we're going to kick it back really quick. But again, I just wanted to show you off before we, we end the night. Oh, yes. I'm a fiend. <laughs> a blood-sucking fiend. I'm evil. Look at my outfit. That was for you, Nate. A quote from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. All right. Looks like we do have the team signed in. We got to go. No, there's no one on go. Oh, yeah, okay. Whew. I've been excited for this matchup. Like, um, the one thing about, like, wannabes, I'm saying that they've actually gotten really good at actually murdering. And Battle Hive's <laughs> main, main goal is to, to murder. murder. Yeah. yeah so <laughs> this is a murder on murder fight. <laughs> this is going to be full military, screw objective. We're just going after each other. All warriors, all day, zero objectives. Yes. Let the blood spill. Or the honey spill. <laughs> What is the good honey? Honey. What's oh, tasty? Honey. Yeah. Well, I'm not a vampire, so again, I'm gonna crave honey, not blood. Cause if I had a blood sausage before, and it's disgusting. <laughs> Who said that's a delicacy? Blood sausage. A Scottish, right? Yeah, I think it is. Either way, it ain't good. That's all I know. I actually want to try it, to be honest. <laughs> and again, as we thought, we have a little bit of snail movement, but yeah, it's this is going to be a military map, pretty much. Did I just see what I would call a meat tornado? Po possibly. I don't know what a meat tornado is, or possibly. A whirlwind of death. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're going to see a lot of that here. 
And again, both teams doing a great job tagging gates, making sure they're just keeping their warriors up. They have one ejective runner trying to move that uh, snail back and forth. Again, they're doing a great job. What they need to do is this can be a, this is gonna be a very evenly matched match. Ooh, and the wannabes actually has a snow movie. Yeah, again, they, it's just get it back to mid. That's <laughs> at this point. And no, we have one berry in. There's one berry in. Oh, and, and, and Simone went down. They're, they're actually... Oh my goodness, can the wannabes pull this off? I mean, they would be the team to do it. Like, they actually play the same game. And oh, and then Eric from back door Again, you're, you're complimenting them. You're complimenting oh, okay, them. Yeah, that's right, that's right. So, again, so we... we will play no compliments, average. no more. We are playing... It's all neutral. This mediocre game. It's yeah, and again, and it's all the, the players thing. playing very yeah. average, just like that average kill right there. Very yes. average I from both teams. Even looked at it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, wannabes. Are you checking your Instagram right now? Uh, wannabes are on last queen right now. We got the sn the snail out of the tunnel right now, and the uh. chase down from Eric. With with a pop off, <laughs> it wouldn't be an Eric game without a pop off. Uh oh, <laughs> very victorious to them. Uh, it's last match. We have some issues with the uh, the stats there. I'm not okay. There we go. Hey, got fixed. Yay! There it goes. Yeah, that I the one uh, that speed warrior chasing you and killing you just as you're trying to escape. It's like trying to outrun a bullet. Oh yes, it's like like okay, so basically like you go for like the 50-50, you see it coming, and like I'm gonna get out of here because I have no point here. But literally you see through the body of the other queen comes that speed warrior with the skulls on his face. You're like Russo! And which is Eric Merritt. Eric Merritt. <laughs> Captain Eric. Eric the Merritt. Eric the Merritt. Number 19. And he's coming up on the, on the left side as a speed warrior. He's going to swing across to control the hive and all the warriors there out there on We got a little bit of snail movement right now. Snail's going to get about to get off rope. Just mere presence is spooking everybody. Look at Mary just sitting there just spooking everybody. <laughs> all right, nice little queen kill there by Simone taking out Chris. Again, it's going to be more of the same. Again, these two teams are so hyper-aggressive right now. I would be, and again, it looks like gold is wiped right now too, so they do not have any words. Yeah, blood is in the water. Yes. This, this, this is not good. I recommend yeah, they're, they're locked out. Them. They're wiped. I, there's not a lot. Chris can't do much right here. This, this is. Oh, now he's stuck. Yeah, this is just pray and hope you do better on the next next map because this is a, a bad situation to be in. Got a date, gate tag, but yeah, right away gets tagged back. Chris is doing a great job, but. No way to stop the snail. You had no warriors up. You had yes. no gates. You had nothing. That Once was. Once you get past that, that last ledge, it's just. Once you get point. to that point where you have you're wiped, all gates are locked. And you're, you're in last life. I believe he's in last life too. Yeah, it? he was in last life as well. But this one, this one is. Um, this one is actually my favorite map against Battle Hive. Not that I ever win this one against them, but it's like this is the one where you can see them coming at you. It's like the wide <laughs> bird. Yeah, you have, it, there's, there's, more, there's more area than any other map. The platform's a little bit more spread out. Even given Dub's, uh, you know, safe flying, he might be able to like escape uh, he, from those pinches. Uh, or, he, or he feels like he, he has to win it for his team and takes extra risk. He says, I have to play out of my mind or we're not going to get this. So what what is his, his mindset right now is the question. His mindset is he aims to misbehave. That he does. That he does. You take his warriors and take his drones. You can't take the sky. And again, going around, Tiger Gates doing what he needs to do to try to go and get their warriors up. But again, they have one warrior up right now. They need to get another one up quickly as soon as they can. It's just rough. Again, they are harassing Chris right now. If you, if you can maintain this, you'll, you'll get one eventually. You know, human error plays a big part. Oh, oh, that was a dangerous dive. Okay, they finally get uh, abs, uh, or the skulls got up. Nicely done. Another one. Another one's coming up. Yep. Simone is is uh, doing a great job keeping those gates tagged and keeping uh, Dope on the run. 
Eric is just fucking <laughs> around, waiting for his next victim. Uh, yeah, and he's like, who? And, and even at that, there's been no queen deaths. Like all the the queen is again. He's playing. Chris is playing. Oh, 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 never mind. Never mind. I mean, they, 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 oh. it was eventually gonna happen either yeah, way. They were gearing up for that. Oh no. That's uh, a lot, a lot to a friend of mine. <laughs> Let's see. Why, oh, thank you. All right, Snow Brother's finally taken out because oh, that Snow is going Cheeky, you see that? He went up for that, for that, um, that stick kill or a scrape kill, whatever that we recall it. My technical terms are kind of rusty, but I'm right there with you, buddy. Don't worry. But, uh, dude, Merritt is on the chase. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, the, the snow has a full escort. There's not a lot that could have been done right there. Again, just Battle Hive, just such a good technical team that it's rough. When they when they have your number, it is rough. Yes. They, 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 they control the gates pretty fast. They control the warriors pretty fast. And once they start, you know, chipping away at you, it becomes a game of how long can you survive. I've hey. stared on that barrel thousands of times, and I, I still am trying to, to crack that code. But this is this is the equalizing map, you know. It's not gonna go either way. And with this team, it probably could. I mean, it is. And uh, early snow movement there from the wannabes. And it looks like Battle Hive is going to go berries on this map. All right, so Battle, yeah, Battle Hive's going berries. And once again, but they're just the military pressure is so good. It's so rough. Oh, I love I love that hot guarding from Dave right now. Dave when you when you have the lights of Eric Merrick and Mahir breathing down your neck, it is rough. I saw how he juked a berry runner and killed him and, and pushed his berry out of the way. Dave being the uh, stripes over over on the gold team. And so only four more four more bears to go. Is Dave fighting Valerie? It's, it's, it's spouse versus spouse. They've, they've escaped from the from the uh, hive guard, and now that the hive is open, which is, which, is a, which, is a, which is a dangerous decision because you know even with the snow going in there, they still have. Uh, and then ooh, we nice kill by. Um, and but look, but look, look, look at the sneaky, sneaky snail. Oh, nice little queen kill so that the one. Oh, well, I think they're going to get it. They, they may get it. Nicely done for the wannabes. Getting one, not getting swept. Nicely done, wannabes. Boom, there we go. Nicely done. And that concludes our league date for this week. Nicely done from the wannabes. Again, yeah, Battle the Andre, Hot. There we go. I was, I, was trying to, I was trying to give you a shout out, DeAndre, and I just completely um, spaced on your name again. I apologize, but that kill was was, was pretty epic. You that side up, but uh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, you're good. No, you're good. He's like, is, is the only one without the name tag? So like, like that doesn't help me to remember. <laughs> yeah, the names. it's quite unique. Is the, his tag he goes by for uh, on uh, Street Fighter? Oh, <laughs> That's nice. how I know him. <laughs> <laughs> but again, uh, let me go ahead and get all this reset because again. You have plenty of Killer Queen action coming your way still. Let me go ahead and set this <laughs> up to Alice, uh, Alice Sinful, that's amazing. I swear by my pretty Flora Bonnet, I will end you. <laughs> I, I, I've, been, I've been dropping in um, some uh, quotes or some quote-ish stuff from Firefly. And uh, I've only got a call back on that one. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, so let's go and end the night again. Um, if you want to stay tuned, we're going to get plenty more Killer Queen action your way. We're going to have casuals for the rest of the night. We're calling it a night personally, though, because I've been talking for a very long time, and I'm tired. I don't know about you, sir, but uh, I am tired. You've been doing most of the talking for me. I've just been enjoying seeing you talk. <laughs> like, I want to say a few things every once in a while, but for the most part, it's all you. Oh, no, no. You are the one that helped me through this. <laughs> I'm just along for the ride. But again, once again, thank you, everyone, for tuning in to our Wig League 3 uh, for Killer Queen. Our next week leak is going to be January the 22nd. Uh, so, again, tune in. Um, but we'll see you then. Uh, we'll see you on the flip side. Till then, enjoy casuals that will be coming up very shortly. See you, everyone. Have a good one. Well, thank you, sir.
Bye. <laughs>